In this video, I'm showing you how to stream on Twitch. This is a quick but full guide. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. We really do appreciate it. And let's get right into this video. Here we are on my desktop and let's get right into this video. And just a quick note, this guide is going to work on Mac as well, but I'm just doing it on Windows because that is the system I use. So the first thing you need to do is go and open up a browser. And in this case, I'm using Google Chrome. And the first thing you need to do is go to our website or just search for OBS. So OBS is actually a free and open source live streaming software. You can also use it for recording as well. So just go and go to OBS and you'll get to the website. And as you can see, you've got the option for Windows, Mac and Linux. So go and select what you like. I'll go and get Windows and then it's going to go and download it. It's really simple. Once it's downloaded, just go and install it just like any other software. And just a quick note as well, every browser is slightly different, but you can always go and find your downloads in your file explorer. And here we are on Twitch as well, just to show you guys. But honestly, we don't actually do much on Twitch um, until we go and actually sort of get streaming. So anyways, once OBS is finished, go and install it and I'll see you after we've gone and installed it. So now you want to go and open up OBS and here we are. So I'm going to go and quickly run through everything you need to know. So on the bottom left, we've got our scenes and you can have multiple different scenes. For example, a scene may be just your um, computer screen, another scene may be your computer computer screen and your webcam and or maybe like a starting soon screen all of these are going to be different scenes and the sources are what make up a scene so for example your um, computer display that will be a source and your webcam will be a different source and any text or any chat you want to add that's also going to be a source as well the audio mixer is then just your mic and your desktop audio and any other audio you'd like to add your scene transition, that is how your scenes are going to change. For example, at the minute it's on fade. So when I go and change to a different scene, as you can see, it fades. And then we've got our controls over here, which I'll cover in a moment. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you've got a scene ready. I've just got one here for my um, display capture, but my scene two, I haven't got anything. So to go and create a new scene, all we do is press that plus button and you can go and name it. However, I've already got a blank one. And now let's go and put together a scene using the sources. So as you can see, I currently have got any sources. So usually if you're streaming on Twitch, I'm assuming you're going to want to go and have your computer screen and your webcam. So go and press add and then let's go and start off with our display capture. You can go and name this anything. I'm going to press OK um, and then you can go and choose to display. I've got two personally, but you may only have one. Um, and then we're going to press OK and boom, there we go. We've now got our computer background and it's recording it as you can see. So now we're going to go and add another source, for example, our webcam. So once again, go and press on the plus button and go and press on video capture device for webcam. But you've got all of these other options. You can also go and add like text and things like that. Then I'm going to go and press OK and here we are. And then you need to go and select what you'd like to use. As you can see, this is my webcam. Uh, mine is just facing the floor at the moment. As you can see, I can uh, put my finger in front of it and there you go. Um, so there you go, you then got your webcam. And you can go and adjust these to whatever you'd like. So go and click on it and then you can go and move it around. So you've now gone and added your sources. Of course, you can go and make another scene for just your, say, your computer background or just your webcam, depending on how you want to stream. Um, so you can create as many scenes as you'd like. Then when it comes to the audio, we, we're actually going to go and edit that in a moment. Um, so it doesn't really matter, but I'll turn your video capture device off and just use your main microphone. Otherwise, you're going to get echoes. So then oh, come over to the control panel and go and press on settings. And then hopefully they're going to load. Here we are. Honestly, you don't really need to change any settings on the general page. Let's go and get into stream. Now stream is going to be setting up what platform you're streaming to. As you can see, we're streaming to Twitch as the whole guide. So make sure Twitch is selected and then go and press connect account. And then you can go and sign into your Twitch. Then go down to output. Now this is where we can actually go and get streaming. So firstly, make sure streaming is selected and you want to go and make sure output mode is on simple. It, honestly, it, you can cover everything you need to with simple. So when it comes to video bitrate, we actually need to go and check our internet speed. So what you want to do is go and open up a new tab and go to a website called speedtest.net. And then once you're on speed test, all you need to do is press go and then you're going to go and get a speed for your internet. Um, and what you need to look at is your upload speed. So the upload speed is how fast you upload files. And then once you know your upload speed, you can go and set your video bitrate. So if you've got an upload speed of 10 megabits, for example, I recommend having this at 10,000. And if you've got one of 15, make sure 15,000. And if it's um, a five megabit upload speed, speed make sure it's 5000 but what's important is that you never exceed it and honestly it's worth having it a bit below it because you can't always achieve your maximum upload speed especially if you've got other people on your internet so I recommend having it a bit below it so personally I get about a 15 upload speed so I'm just going to set mine to 10,000 and then when it comes to the encoder if you've got it I recommend using the NVEC one or if you're using AMD and AMD equivalent um, otherwise if you're using the x264 that's your CPU but ideally you want to use your graphics card and that's pretty much it then go and hit apply 
and then go down to audio and you want to make sure you've got your right microphone selected. These talk to a desktop audio, but make sure you've got your right microphone selected minus this USB PMP sound device and go and click apply again. Now, when it comes to video, this is pretty important. So base canvas, this is what this bit looks like here. But what the really key part is, is the output scaled resolution. Um, so I recommend for Twitch and you're not being a partner or anything like that, I recommend it being 720p. So lower yours down to that. And then for downscale filter, I recommend it being bicubic. Um, you just don't really need the lengths cost. Mine's that high because I record using this. And when it comes to FPS, 30 is fine as well. And then hotkeys, that's sort of up to you. You can go and make a button to go and start and stop streaming. It does sort of simplify things, but you can always just go and use the buttons on OBS down here, um, which is fine. And then advanced, honestly, you don't need to change much of this. Just make sure the color format is NV12 and you can change the process priority, but I wouldn't worry too much. And then once you're done, once again, go and press apply. And then all you need to do is make sure you've got your scenes and sources ready and then go and press start streaming and you'll be streaming to the internet. And that's literally it guys. And of course you may need to go and adjust your audio levels to make sure everything's clear. And, but you may need to use your chat to sort of, you know, ask them, is this loud enough? Is it too quiet? That type of thing. But there we go. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider subscribing. Leave a like for more. Peace.